meteorologist is somebody who has an interest in clocks and watches. That includes practitioners, uh, so watchmakers, clockmakers, repairers, but can also include historians, researchers and writers. I became interested in horology, clocks and watches, in secondary school. And I think this was a byproduct of my boyhood, dismantling things uh, and being surrounded by Lego, Meccano, Fisher Technic. I'd always been fascinated about how things worked, uh, taking things to pieces, putting them back together again. And this eventually led me to watches and clocks. I'm somebody who loves creating things and I, and I have this you know pent-up mechanical inclination and so it gives me great satisfaction being able to create something, produce something, turn a piece of metal into a working object. There's an immense satisfaction involved in that. I volunteer with a group that does conservation work on artifacts belonging to the Museum of Timekeeping here at the BHI. I don't repair watches and clocks for a living, although I am a trained watch repairer. I sell watches and as a volunteer it has given me the opportunity to explore all those aspects of practical horology that I'm so interested in. The project I'm currently working on is the restoration of my favorite clock, a short free pendulum clock. It's the most accurate pendulum clock ever made. The skills a horologist needs include patience, bags of patience, lots of discipline and dedication, the ability to just keep on persevering, repeating the same task over and over, trying, trying, trying being prepared to discard your work and start over until it's absolutely perfect. The BHI or British Horological Institute is an organization that's been in existence for 160 years and its aims are for the promotion and preservation of the craft and skills of horology. And that means it's an educational organization dedicated to training clock and watch makers not only in the United Kingdom, but from all over the world. The museum has an amazing collection of clocks going back to in excess of 350 years that show the progression of timekeeping, tools, how things were made. So some great examples from the museum that I love are the speaking clocks. Four different types of speaking clock that were used uh, throughout the 20th century. There are turret clocks galore, turret clocks of every kind, Amazing, beautiful long case clocks, you know, very traditional clocks. There is my favorite, the short free pendulum clock. There is also the world-class library, which is one of the top three horological libraries in the world. For me, there's an immense satisfaction in creating something out of a piece of dead metal, turning it into a useful object. Also, seeing an object spring to life that has been dormant and gone fallow for many years is great satisfaction in seeing that kind of resurrection. So this is an IWC navigator's watch made uh, by the International Watch Company of Schaffhausen in Switzerland for the German Air Force in the Second World War. Um, and so it's, it's designed for aerial navigation, hence its size, uh, which helps in obtaining precision, uh, precision of timekeeping and also legibility. And these watches are very rare. And this particular one comes from the collection of Watch Club in London. We live in an age that is so digital and disposable. I'm delighted to be a participant in a long and ancient craft that values skill and craftsmanship. And I'm happy to be part of a team that helps keep this alive.